Welcome back. It's not yet over for Regathe Gachagua. Regathe Gachagua ako na options mbili na one of these options ndizo zitamokoa from him being impeached. Kulingana na ile motion na ambayo ilikuwa imepelekwa kwa bonge ya ku impeach Regathe Gachagua, it was clear and everybody knew, even Regathe Gachagua knew bonge itaenda kwa mpige. He knew it because wabunge already walikuwa compromised na kuna chenye walikuwa wamepatiwa from the rumors na ambazo zilikuwa zinenea hapa kwa mitandao. Now, Regathe Gachagua has two options. Macho yake imeangalia Senate. Of course, he cannot rely on Senate because remember kwa hii impeachment motion Raila Amolo Odinga is behind it na ujue Raila Amolo Odinga kuna senators wake pale kwa uh, kwa Senate and William Samoe Arap Ruto president of Kenya is behind it so pale kwa Senate they have majority and they have quorum to impeach Raila Gachagua so hawezi angalia Senate sana na penye ameangalia juu sana ni pale ambako ni court court kuna uwezekano anaweza enda pale na court isimamishe impeachment yake kuna uwezekano akienda na proof na evidence ya ile mambo na ambayo parliament inasema ama zile basis parliament inasema uh, uh, ama zina muimpeach nazo akienda pale court na proof na evidence ya ile mambo aonyeshane kweli kama ni graft cases aziko money laundering aziko na other kesi ambazo maekewa koti inaweza muokoa kuna uwezekano if our courts are not compromised kuna uwezekano court itamuokoa but for senate kuna uwezekano mkubwa sana hii motion ya kuimpeach gachagua itapita through x clear kuna uwezekano mkubwa sana 7% is that hii motion pale uh, senate itapita so macho macho ya regatha ya chagua should not be on senate but pale kokoti as they are tafuta evidence ya kutosha and after impeachment amenda through regatha ya chagua ameza amenda pale kwa uh, facebook page yake na ameza kuongea na amequote katika kitabu cha thessalonians and this is what regatha ya chagua has said let's read together Regathe Gachagua speaks na amequote kitabu cha the Thessalonians 5:18 Give thanks in all circumstances for this for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus Jeremiah 13:19 From them will come songs of thanksgiving and the sound of rejoicing I will add to their numbers and they will not be decreased I will bring them honor and they will not be disdained ex well who you nilegada gachagua na ameza kukot kitabu cha the Thessalonians na yalamaya guys what's your opinion on this and what's your take on this hiyo ndio ile maandishi na ambayo legada gachagua ameandika pale kwa facebook page yake na imeweza kupata a lot of reactions within very few minutes Now ladies and gentlemen kuna wale wabonge na ambao wamelosha no ama wameka no na, and let's to look at those these two members of parliament Baboino Baboino amekeuka ODM most of ODM members of parliament wamelusha yes ku impeach Gashagua so amekeuka sheria ya chama kuna uwezekano utaona kichukuliwa hatua na chama another person na mwenye niki sana mwenye amerusha no ni Dende Nyoro MP Karo Dende Nyoro ame contradict watu wengi sana ama amefanya watu wengi sana waachwe na mafikra At first regatha ya chagua and Dende Nyoro hawakuwa marafiki vile na walikuwa wanakosana because Dende Nyoro alikuwa amewekwa ile position na ambayo kidhule kindiki amewekwa but later things went south 
Dendi Nyoro alienda na koko sana. He was used at first to fight Rugeta Gachagua. We saw it. Alikuwa anachukuliwa as if nye anaweza kuwa option 2027 uh, president uh, uh, William Samoei Arap to Aksimama alega uh, 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 Dendi Nyoro alikuwa anaonekana ni kama yeye anaweza chaguliwa kama deputy president kutoka mlima. But now things has fallen. Dendi Nyoro is not on that list. Remember Dendi Nyoro is very influential. PA ako na influence kubwa sana hapa Mount Kenya. And for the matter of the fact is if Legada Gachagua will be impeached both in Senate na aende aweko nje na koti. The person who will vie for president in Mount Kenya is none other than Dende Nyoro. Keep that to the bank. If at all deputy uh, president Legada Gachagua ataweko nje na Senate aweko nje na mahakama Dende Nyoro is one person kutoka Mount Kenya na ambaye atakuwa anashindana na president William Samoei Arap Ruto atasimama kama president mwaka wa 2027 keep that to the nearest bank he voted no with a reason if he voted yes wakikuyo Mount Kenya wangemchukia na hange kuwa na ile political influence but anajua vile grand kuko na akaamua ku vote no and that no for him is a win for him and is a, uh, he has won many hearts of mount kenya people so he is playing his politics very nice and wise he is a wise man he is a smart man so 2027 ndende nyoro kunawezekano atakuwa kwa barot na kunawezekano atakuwa anasimama kiti kubwa hata ya president Let's wait and see and watch when the game in a chess hapa and if Dene Nyoro atasimama kama president William Samoei Arap Ruto kupata kura from Mount Kenya nothing zero and you'll see how they will play this game na hii game itachezwa na itachezeka maybe even legada yachagua hatasimama kiti ya president ana kunawezekano anasema it is what it is wacha na chen nayo achende de nyoro that will be another card na ambayo itakuja kumaliza William Ruto let's wait and see thank you guys please make sure you subscribe to e news this is